Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. In our last lesson, we created the template that we're going to be using for our page layouts. And in this lesson, we'll be applying that template to our web pages. So we're going to start now by opening up the index.html file. And when that opens, you'll see that Dreamweaver, when it created this file, put some standard code in there for us. Well, we need to get rid of all this code. So I'll we'll highlight all of that and delete. And now we're going to apply this main.dwt file or template to the index.html page. And to do that, we come up to the menu and choose modify. We'll come right down the bottom of the list to templates and then right back at the top of the list here, apply template to page. So I'll click on that one and the select template dialog box will open. Well, we've only got one template available at the moment called main. Now when you start to build your own websites, you might well have three or four templates for three or four different page layouts that you want to use. We're keeping it simple and we've just got the main template available. Make sure also that there's a tick in this box and this will allow us to update the template and those changes will cascade through all of the documents that are based on this template. So I've selected main and I'm going to choose select. And what you'll see is that the code is inserted into our index.html page. Now, the majority of code here is greyed out, and that means we can't edit this. We can only edit the areas that we defined earlier as being editable regions. So we've got our banner area, and we defined that as an editable region. And we've also got the content area, so we can make changes to these two areas but for the rest of the code this is now locked and we can't make any changes to it through our normal pages we can still go back to the template and edit that one and any changes we make there will be cascaded down to the pages based on this template so I'll come up to file and save and then we'll close the index file down now I want to repeat this process for each of the pages in my website so again I'm going to open up about, we'll clear the code that's been put in there as standard and then we'll choose modify, templates, apply template to page, select main and then say select and all the codes placed in there for me. We'll save this one and close that. Now we'll do the contact page so again we'll open it up Let's get rid of this, modify templates, apply template, and we'll save the contact.html, close, and finally we'll open up the gallery page, select all the text, modify, apply template, and select save that one and close okay so our templates now been applied to all of our pages and because we haven't made any changes to these pages yet they will all look exactly the same so if we go into design view you can see here this is what we're looking at and you'll notice also that the editable areas are now enclosed in this blue outline and the name that we gave those editable regions, banner and content, are there. If we try to select anything outside of the editable regions, we can't select anything or change anything from within these HTML pages. But we can change anything within an editable area. So this is the index.html page and we'll change the heading to reflect that. So on our index page or home page as it will be, We'll type welcome to 
schedule, no doubt. Photography. And we'll save that one. Let's open up the About page. And we'll scroll down to our main heading. And in here we'll put About. John O'Dell. Save that one. We can close these files as we're saving them. Uh, contact is next, so let's scroll down, change the heading there to Contact John O'Dell. We'll save that one and close. And lastly, we've got the gallery page. So in here, we'll have John O'Dell Gallery. And we'll save that one and close. Now, this will be a good time to test our links. So I'm going to come across to the file panel and click on the index page. I don't have to open it up. And I'm going to press F12. And what that will do is it will open that file in the browser. So here we are on our index page or home page. And we've got Welcome to John O'Dell. Let's change to the gallery page. And there we have John O'Dell Gallery. Switch to About, About John O'Dell, and Contact Us, Contact John O'Dell. And one more link to try to make sure that we go back to our home page, and there it is. So all of our files now have been updated. The template is attached to all of them, and we can now work on the individual pages and the content that we're going to include in those. If you found this series of videos helpful and you want to receive updates on video tutorials as they're released, why not subscribe to my channel? And don't forget to like and share it with your friends.